In this morning's Health Watch, relieving back pain, about 8 out of 10 people will be affected by it at some point in their lives, and we spend tens of billions of dollars each year in a quest for back pain relief. Early show contributor Taryn Winterbrill is here with a novel treatment that is gaining some popularity very quickly. Yes, Good morning, Taryn. momentum. Good morning to you, Chris. Well, imagine lying down on a device that mimics a bed of nails. Mats with thousands of nail-like plastic spikes are being touted as a relaxation technique that may relieve stress, back pain, and even cure insomnia. If you feel that strain and pain in your lower back, your misery is in good company. What the data shows is that 80% of the Americans uh, will experience low back pain at some point in their lifetime, and that's probably an understatement. It's estimated that at any given time, more than 30 million Americans are experiencing back pain, and back pain is big business. When the heat is on, the pain is gone. From patches to pills, back pain sufferers will try almost anything to get relief. Patients come in often telling me, for example, doctor, just cut the nerve, but do whatever you need to do to, to address this back pain. But will they try this? It's called a house mat and it looks a little bit like a tool for torture. Some people call it an acupressure mat or a nail bed. Yep, she said nail bed. You might see a yogi using one for meditation or a stunt guy on one showing off how tough he is. This modern version replaces the nails with more than 8,000 pointy plastic spikes. It's supposed to help relax you and relieve pain. I had to try it out. Uh, well, I will say this gets right to the point. <laughs> There was definitely a prickly feeling, but it didn't hurt like I imagined it would. So just to get a sense of what's going on right now, it's stimulating these pressure points all over my body, which are basically releasing which is causing the release hormones. of these hormones, yep. The mat is based on the theory of acupressure, that the body is lined with pressure points, which when stimulated, release the body's natural pain-relieving hormone. For further evaluation, we took the mat to colleague Jerry Papiernik, a chronic back pain sufferer. I get sharp pains in my hips and down the legs. I get sharp shooting pains, and it, it just it just stops you in your tracks. It's been this way for 15 years, and five surgeries haven't helped. Her pain is so chronic, so excruciating, she's forced to take a legion of pills, between 12 and 18 a day, including morphine and methadone, just to function. I introduced her to the mat. At this point, are you willing to try it? Sure, I would try anything? anything, absolutely. I would try anything. Anything right now? Like me, Papiernik said it didn't hurt to lie on the mat, and she said it felt good just to stretch out on the okay. floor. Jerry, could you see yourself doing this on a daily basis? Uh, sure, if there was a long-term beneficial effect, I could, I could do it every day. And it's in the pursuit of that daily relief that Papiernik and her fellow back pain sufferers will spend at least $50 billion a year on remedies. Indeed, and while research so far is preliminary, recent studies have shown that nail mats used 15 minutes a day for three weeks reduced patients' peak levels of pain. They also found that back temperature was higher on the nail mats as compared to a traditional mattress as a result of increased circulation. Also, heart rate was lowered, Chris, indicating greater relaxation. Yeah, so noticed, interesting findings. Notice you were holding Gail's hands right there, too. Was it, <laughs> is it a little painful? I mean, Tension. how many nails are we talking about? Our, our little. Not that we're counting, but we are. 8,820 oh. plastic spikes. Isn't that something? That's amazing. Yeah. You've actually been using this the last couple of days. What do you think? I have 15 minutes a day, and they actually say to use the mat against your bare skin yeah. for maximum relief because clothing obviously can serve as a barrier. I did it. There was some initial discomfort. Eventually, it dissipated, and I liked it. I felt a massage-type sensation. Yeah. I felt I closed my eyes. I enjoyed it. I really did. A few marks that I'm sure dissipated. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I looked at my back actually. Lots yeah. of red marks, but you don't feel it after a while. And it's a little, obviously, a little painful to the touch, but I'm sure if spread out over time over your whole back, it's not right. that bad. Now they say it's not just back pain that this cures; that other ailments as well. Yeah, huh? if you have neck pain, muscle fatigue, tension, you know, lack of energy, because again, it's increasing your circulation. But remember, my advice is when you go down on it, and Jerry did this as well. Remember, be careful of your yep. hands because this can really stick it to you. All right, Taryn, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Good Chris. to see you.